Ah yes, the Guangzhou Xijiang. Most notably known as Seoul's oldest but still functioning market, this shopping establishment is a testament to Korean fortitude and all kinds of delicious street food. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., this is a paradise for those who love to binge on tasty local foods, delicacies, and treats. And also those who love to fill up their bellies but not empty their wallets. You can find pretty much everything here. Bedding, shoes, snacks galore, souvenirs, kitchen supplies, banchan, you name it. Oh yeah. Experiencing the bustling street food world is simple here. Just pick a vendor among the plethora of booths littering the area. But I know you're also thinking, how do you make your decision? It's a personal choice. Perhaps it's the friendliest ajima, the intoxicating aroma that draws you to a particular spot, or who has the widest range of foods. And ordering is pretty straightforward. Most spots have their food items listed with their prices, and from there, it's point and consume. Almost all of these hardworking women have experience with tourists and are used to serving up food quickly and efficiently. What should you try? Well, everything. But in today's video, I'll share with you guys the menu I typically go for. We're at Guangzhou, Xijiang. Right now we're in the middle of a typhoon. Raining. Boring. So I figured what better time than have some street food than during a typhoon, because it's pouring outside. Bonk. So the first thing we're gonna have at this food pier is mandu. Ah, uh, mandu. Is there nothing you can't do? In all seriousness though, this is probably the best bet for the pickiest of eaters. Why? Because it's pretty much Korea's version of a dumpling. Traditionally, it's some form of protein mixed with a variety of veggies, and then that's wrapped in a soft and light wrap. Then from there, they're either boiled, fried, or steamed. These are versatile and the combinations are endless, coming in with kimchi mandu, shrimp, pork, spicy, savory, you name it, there's a mandu for you. Next stop, bindesong, which is a mung bean pancake with a little mix of other stuff in it, but it's quite delicious, so we're gonna have that. Hey, bind it talk. You make them all bell it talk. <laughs> Mesmerizing are the turning grinding wheels you'll see sprinkled through the market. These spinning mills pulverize the mung beans, which are then mixed with water, a crap ton of bean sprouts, and again, depending on the type of bind it talk, a mixture of various meats and veggies. They're then usually fried and are best served hot, golden, and crispy. This one has a little pork in it. <laughs> I love food so much. Round three, tteokbokki. These are huge. I... Spicy. Now, we're gonna need a fresh pair of chopsticks because it's time for possibly the king of street food. Tteokbokki. It's that bright, glorious red rice cake smothered in Korean gochujang you see pretty much everywhere. Now, how do you determine good tteokbokki? In my opinion, you gotta play it like Goldilocks. The rice cakes can't be too soft or too hard. They need to be just right. Once you've found the right texture, enjoy. And fair warning, the spiciness depends on who makes them. Some of the ajumas are like Marilyn. Some like it hot. Round four. Oh dang. Mm. Oh dang's like one of my favorite. I can have oh dang for breakfast, for lunch, dinner. Oh dang. It's oh dang. As I've clearly indicated, oh dang for me is a comfort food. Oh dang is a fish cake usually served on a skewer and in a savory broth. You'll know which oding is best by what's floating around in the soup. Usually, if I see crabs, onions, or any other form of seafood hanging out in the broth, I consider it fancy oding. Oh 
And yes, you must consume both the broth and cake together. Some booths even give unlimited broth refills. And I'm not gonna lie, that might be why I like Odang so much. What can I say? I'm a soup girl. Oh, and pro tip, kinda but not really. If you're looking for a napkin, look around and find the toilet paper roll. <laughs> Round, I don't even know, five or six? Soon day. And last, but certainly not least, is my all-time fave, sundae. Don't be put off by the blood or the intestinal casing. This Korean sausage is bomb. Trust me, no mineral or metal taste here. Just glutinous, tender deliciousness. Have I sold you yet? Mm. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. My favorite. So I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today and there will be more of the travel breakdown to come. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.